This is going to be uh, part two of the tutorial for uh, Word Project 2 done here on a Windows PC. Let's look at what we have done so far. Uh, we did find, we just did step number five. We did find, um, let me get rid of this for a second, the recording window. Um, we did find every instance of phase and replaced it with generation. Done. Of course, someone could have, and it's just more work, just gone through the whole document and replaced every word that says phase with the word generation. Uh, let me tell you a secret. Even if you did it manually, in the end, you get graded by the end result. The uh, mind tap doesn't even know how you did it. Uh, even if you did it manually, if you did all of them meticulously, it would just still give you the points. Um, then step number six, create a first line indent, indent first line indent of half an inch to uh, indent the first line of each body paragraph, all the body paragraphs. What are they talking about? Um, it's part of the MLA format. I'm going to highlight all the body paragraphs. That means everything but the name and the first uh, heading. Click, hold, and drag, 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 all the way down, all the way to the word prosper. I have everything highlighted. I'm going to go to those paragraph settings. On the Mac, there's actually, uh, an, um, I think, an edit window on the top, and then uh, a paragraph options, and it takes me to the same thing, paragraph options. One of those options is indentation. Now, what some people do by mistake is go to indentation and simply put half an inch here. That's not what they want. If I did it here, it would move all the paragraphs, all the line, half an inch to the right. They want, under special, for you to do it only to the first line of each paragraph. It so happens that the default is half an inch. And if I click OK, look at what it did. It actually moved the first line of every paragraph by half an inch. It's one more thing that makes paragraphs easy to read, and it just, um, it's one of the things, one of the requirements in MLA format. Save. Um, next requirement, next instruction, because I think we just did number six. Number seven, is to insert a header as follows to meet the MLA format. Uh, from the top of the page number gallery, insert a plain number three page number uh, in the header for all the pages in the document. And without moving the insertion point, type GERDA and then press spacebar. Okay, and then close the header and the footer tools. Again, they want a header, from the top of the uh, page number gallery, they want plane number three. They want me to add my imaginary name. They imagine that my name as a student is something Gerda, and then press spacebar and then close. Let's do that. I'm going to the project. I don't need to select anything because it's done to the whole document. Under insert, there's page numbers. It's about like two thirds of the way right. Again, I'm in the insert tab page number, and when I click, I see a gallery. Under top of page, I can see the one they're talking about called plain number three, because number one is to the left, number two is in the center, number three is in the right. Click. Without moving anything, I'm typing Gurda. So it looks like, you know, a paper submitted by someone called Gurda, and this is page two or page one or whatever, and then close the header and the footer. From this point on, every page is going to say Gerda 1, Gerda 2, Gerda 3, and so on. Great. Save. Save. Let's go back to the instructions. Um, and we can mark number 7 as done. Number eight, find the sentence, uh, some cities uh, remain blah, 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 or the other two. Move the insertion point before the period and create a insert a citation that creates a new source with the information shown on table one. So 
They want a new citation, which is a website done by this guy and so on. Maybe what I will do to make things easier for me is to make this window a little smaller so I can move back and forth between them and make this window a little smaller so I can actually see them side by side. Yep. Even though if it makes each one of them a little smaller, I can see each one of them. So again, I'm looking at the instructions and they want me to find the sentence some cities remain to the other two. Move the insertion point before the period. So I need to find other two and the period. Let's try to find it. Um, one way of finding it is under home, there's a find and the word two. And here it is, the other two. I don't need the navigation anymore. Oop, actually, maybe I do. Lost it. Find two. They said before the period. The way I insert a new source is by going to references, insert citation, add new source. Here is where you as students are going to add all this information in here. For instance, if I go back to, oh, I can't, uh, let me cancel. I want to make sure that I can see this window even when It's just making life easier for myself. I could have printed it out, but I want to be able to see this while I'm dealing with that window. So I can just look at it. Um, copy paste is not um, available in this case. So again, here's my project. Here's my cursor right before the period of two. Insert citation, add new source. Now I can start looking, type of source, website. Scroll all the way down because it's alphabetical. No, it's not. Here it is. Website. Author, uh, Burns Scott. Burns, comma, space, Scott. Now, I'm not going to waste your time in this tutorial, but uh, there's something to be entered for almost each one of those boxes. Uh, I wish I could click, hold, and, uh, you know, copy. It's kind of my, uh, you know, uh, instinct to do right now. Name of web page, brief history. So I'm just going to go blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm um, going to leave everything else blank. You as students will need to enter this information. This is why you got time. I don't want to waste your time on uh, this tutorial. So right now it's just a uh, uh, Scott. Maybe I'll just enter the year accessed as 2021 and the month accessed as March. Just to have something that resembles what it needs to be. I'll say it again. I am cutting corners right now because I'm just showing you how to do it. When you actually do it, you will have to enter all this information very meticulously. Okay. Then I can finally expand the big window again. I don't need this sidebar called researcher. And look at what it did. Right after the words two, it inserted a citation for Mr. Burns. Let's go back to the instructions. I can make them big again. And I can mark step number eight as let me just highlight the whole thing. Done. Step number nine. In the paragraph beginning with Smart Cities 1.0, read the comment from, you know, that imaginary teacher, Marissa Wang, and then reply to it saying, yes, comma, space. I added one, period. Uh, because that teacher asks you to uh, add, you know, a citation, which we just did. So let's find the comment. Here it is. And I press reply, and I type yes, comma, I added one, period. Clicking every, anywhere else, don't click reply again, because that will add another reply, but just simply, simply clicking in the body of the document takes you out of that box, 
just making sure that I spelled it right with all the spaces needed and everything. Cool. Save. And that took us to the end of requirement. Oh, wrong document. Number nine, I believe. Yes, number nine is done. Remember, we got 17 of them. Um, then comes the part where they want me to use that uh, new or extra uh, document called the support document. Uh, they want me to open it, and I think I already have it open. Copy the sentence that starts with Toronto converted, blah, 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 without including the paragraph mark. And then, so let's do that first. Copy without the paragraph mark. I will go to that document, that support document. It has only one um, paragraph, and they don't even want all of it. How do I know that I'm copying without the paragraph mark? By showing it. Here's the paragraph mark. Showing. And here's the paragraph mark. So I'm going to click and highlight from the end backwards. And that way I know, no, I don't want this to be highlighted. So I'll try, sometimes it's a little tricky, all the way to vehicles, even if it means I'm missing the period after the word vehicles, um, I'm, I can always add it later, as long as I don't copy the paragraph mark. And I will copy. Then the instructions say that they want me to paste it, to insert it. Um, move the insertion point after the sentence. The solution, uh, solutions connect buildings and energy consumption. After the period, after the word consumption, and paste. Okay. Let's find that paragraph. Smart city, blah, 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 blah. Consumption. Here it is. After the period, paste. It's under home, paste. Now let me see if everything got pasted correctly. After consumption, now I see a space and Toronto, great. Uh, the flow of pedestrians, bicycles, and vehicles. What I am missing, because I didn't copy it, is a period. And now it looks perfect. So it's just injected that paragraph there. Great. If you manage to copy it with the period, great. It's just that I find that it's kind of tricky to copy the period but not copy the, um, the paragraph mark. Again, back to this. I wanted to highlight with this but not the paragraph mark. And every time I got to the end, it included the paragraph mark. So I just never copied the period and added it later. Um, sometimes you have to be smart. Cool. Let's see what next um, instruction I can do. So I think I just did all of these. They say close the support document. That's fine. I can always close it later. As long as I copied what I needed from it and saved. Then um, move the insertion point before the period in the sentence you just pasted. Um, Toronto converted, blah, 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 blah. So the period, the insertion point before the period in the sentence you just pasted. Um, so it's vehicles, before the periods, between the S and the period of vehicles. Then insert a citation that creates a new source with the information shown on table two. So they want another source to be inserted this time. A journal article. So I will do the same thing I did before. Again, I will just go through the motions. You guys, see, I uh, click this uh, so to make the window small. Then I can actually resize the window so I can see things on the side. Then I can go to the document itself. Also make it narrow so I can see them side by side. Then they said write after the S, but before the period of vehicles, insert a new source. Again, that's done under references. Insert citation, add new source. This time it's not a website, but a journal article. Its author is Frankel Richard. Frankel comma, space, Richard, oh, capital R. Everyone likes to have their name 
start with the cap. Very important to be picky about those things. Uh, the title is City as Network. And Network with a capital N. Make sure Network is a capital N and there's a space. The year is 2019. Again, I'm, I'm skipping a few things because I don't want this tutorial to take two hours. Uh, pages 2224. And medium print. Actually, you know what? I'm completing everything. And uh, journal name, urban planning. Spelled correctly. That's it. Okay. And right after the word vehicles, it inserted Frankel. Good. Um, so I can mark step number 11 is done. Make this wide again so I can see everything. Good. Um, at the top of page 12, respond to the comment from your instructor as follows. Read the comment and delete it and change 70 to 80. Because the teacher noticed... It's like the teacher did their own research, and the teacher said, hey, I checked, and the homicide rate was actually 80, not 70. Okay, what I will do is right-click on this whole comment and delete comment. Just right-click anywhere, and this menu drop, drops and delete comment, no more comment. But to actually do what the teacher wants, I will say, yep, this Mr. Ortiz found that it was 80, not 70 percent drop. Cool. Um, so we just did number 12. Let's see. Oh, actually, there's 21 steps. So actually, at this point, I'm going to stop part two of the tutorial because it's getting kind of long. And we will do 13 through 21 in the next tutorial.